Hi, everyone. Good morning. So today we are going to be talking about the edge model uh, in the Concepts Unlocked series. This is a CFA level two topic, the edge model. So we have uh, used the dividend discount model in your level one as well. And we continue to use it in level two. The entire learning module uh, two is on dividend discount model in your level two. So if you have a constant growth rate forever, then we can use the Gordon growth model. And the period before that, let's say there are two stages. The period before that, then you have to give a higher growth rate. You calculate those cash flows and bring it to the present value. Or if you're able to project it for the forecast horizon, five years, seven years, and find the DPS and then calculate the value, that's fine. But in reality, a lot of times, you're gonna have a high growth rate and then a transition phase where the growth kind of tapers down to a long run growth rate, right? So in that scenario, what is the valuation? Or that could be another scenario where you have a very high growth rate and then the company is now going to start at the transition phase. And then after a few years, it's going to be at the long run growth rate. So let's talk about this second, second scenario where I just said the company is coming out of a really high growth and it is kind of in the transition phase and then it's going to enter the long run sustainable growth rate uh, in that scenario, we can directly use the H model. The formula for H model is given here. The value at time zero is given by next year's dividend, which is D0 into one plus GL. Remember here, we are using the long run growth rate. So even though the, co the company is just coming out of a pretty high short run growth rate, here we are calculating the dividend for the long run. So, and then the second component, is the dividend multiplied by the half-life in years of the high growth period. So if the growth period, high growth period is for 10 years, my yatch is going to be five years. That is half of that transition phase. And then I multiply that with the delta of the growth rate, the high growth rate minus the long run growth rate. The value can be constructed or deconstructed into two components. You can, the, for your understanding, you can think of the part where I have the dividend next year, the long run growth rate dividend divided by R minus GL, simply the GGM. To that, we are adding a little bit more because the growth rate is tapering from a really high growth rate to the long run growth rate. And that component is given as the dividend multiplied by the half-life of the transition period, high growth period, multiplied by the difference in the growth rates divided by R minus G. Now let's look at one example here. Valuing a stock with the H model, an analyst has decided to use the H model to estimate the value of a company. Uh, okay, the share price is 41.70, current dividend is 1.7, the dividend uh, currently is growing at 7% and it's going to decline for 10 years to eventually to a 4%. And the cost of equity is 8%. How do you value it? Let's go ahead and use the H model. So you can, again, just think of this as D0, the 1.77 into 1 plus GL as just the regular garden growth. So that would give you 1.77 multiplied by 1.04, which is the long run growth rate. Always remember, we are using the long run growth rate here, divided by R minus GL, which is 0 0.04. The other component is going to be your dividend multiplied by half-life and the delta of the growth rate divided by R minus GL, which is going to be 1.77 multiplied by 5 into 0.03 divided by 0 0.04. So you get to 1.84 divided by 0 0.04 plus 0 0.27 divided by 0 0.04. And this component is just assuming a long run growth rate. And the this one is kind of the uh, add on to that because of the starting point being higher, the growth rate being higher. And that is going to give you the value of 52.75. So very easy to calculate in a way once you understand how those two components of the H model work to give us the valuation.